Hello everyone, hi uh, and welcome you all on Physics Abhyan. So today in this particular video, we are going to study about the topic in quantum mechanics that was harmonic oscillator and this is considered to be one of the most important topic in physics. So uh, we are not going to solve exactly the harmonic oscillator, but some slightly different version of it and I will tell you how to solve it in very uh, quick way to get the answer for especially for your competitive exams. So let us know, revise that what you know. So if we have a potential that has a form of half k x square. So then in quantum mechanics, we know that this potential is somewhat like that. So if we have this x axis and this as a, your potential energy. So this is symmetric about origin and your potential energy will look uh, something like this. Okay, so this is your displacement x and this is your potential energy vx. So this is as simple as that. And we know this is an exactly solvable problem in quantum mechanics. You can get this energy eigenstates, which is En that was n plus half h cut omega, where n is your quantum number, which varies from n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And 0 is your ground state, 1 is your first excited, and so on. So this was the usual thing which we know. Now, what happens if I change this potential half kx square to some lower order terms if I add? Let's suppose I add ax plus b. So this will be the concern to this particular video, how to get the energy eigenvalues for this particular type of potential, which is harmonic, but it has some slightly different form. So let's get started to how to solve this problem. So uh, here it is. So this is not a complete uh, harmonic oscillation. So make it harmonic by adding and subtracting few terms so that we can conclude something. So I am taking half kx as a common quantity. Let's suppose x square plus this ax will be become 2x a by k because half k is bahar, so half k, half k. And I don't want to disturb this b, so here it is. I will, so a square plus 2ab plus b square. So you have to add a by k square and subtract a by k whole square into 2k, 2 by k, sorry. This is 2 by, not exactly 2 by k, it's k by 2, okay, because we have added here k by 2, so it is half uh, k by a square multiplied by k by 2. So that's the term. So what you will get? Half k, this will be x plus a by k whole square plus, or you can write uh, plus b minus a square by 2k. So this is the form. Now what you observe is, so this was x square term, this was x term, this was b a constant quantity. Okay. Here this is x plus some quantity square plus another constant term. So what you can conclude from here, this is still quadratic but its mean position is shifted. So what was the mean position in this case, which we have a uh, normal harmonic oscillation. So mean position was average of finding the particle average value was zero because this was the mean position. Now, if we have slightly different form, what we will get, we still have a quadratic function, but at different minima with different constant. Okay, so now let's draw uh, this waveform of potential. So uh, suppose uh, this is my x and this is my uh, u of x or you can call v of x potential energy. Now we still have a quadratic term with some constant. Okay. So we still have some quadratic term and this constant is minus a square k by 2b. So depending upon the value of b and a, this, uh, this constant will shift this uh, curve either up or down. So let me consider that b is less than a so it will uh, be down so this potential will look something like this like this uh, with some different uh, mean so what will be the mean value this will be minus a by k because 
this x square potential this is the x square curvature and its mean is minus a by k with this minimum shift in the potential energy will be b minus a square by 2k okay so that's uh, the basic idea of this type of potential so the whole this potential will be shift down to an another minima with a different mean uh, initial the mean was zero here the average value of x will be minus a by k so mean is shifted whether the and the minima of this potential energy will also be shift so how it will affect the total energy of the system so now the new energy of the system will be uh, according to these uh, new minima and new uh, mean value so i'm just writing the final expression so it the energy will be n n plus half h cat omega that was for quadratic n by half h cat omega with this shift of energy so this is minus a square by 2k plus b so this will be your new energy so if i talk about the ground state energy so for n is equal to 0 your ground state energy will be half h cut omega minus a square by 2k plus b so this much amount of energy will be shifted in your ground state energy and what will be the mean value of this potential this is minus a by k that we just have discussed so how how uh, let's discuss how uh, this can be used in solving the problems so let's see and uh, stop let me uh talk about one more thing that uh, might you have not followed it from this will the n, uh, will the omega of this function will be affected or not what happens to omega see omega depends upon you know that omega square is k by m k by m and your k is your the double derivative of your potential energy so this is proportional to d square u by dx square in some sense okay d x square so if i write this quadratic term how it will be look like half k let call this as x square plus some constant so this k is same here as this k so your the natural frequency of oscillation that was omega that will not be affected it will remain same so omega is not going to be a change for the system now let's talk about how uh, the different type of questions can be framed so let's suppose the very simple case suppose you have a charged particle charged particle in electric field so suppose you have a charged particle which was oscillating forget about the oscillations charged par charged particle was in harmonic oscillator well okay and then you applied an slightly constant electric field so this is an constant electric field then the question is asked that what happens to its energy and all that so initially your potential was vx was half kx square so what will happen if you add an electric field so if i calculate just uh, directly calculate the potential energy for in a charged particle which has some uh, electric which is in electric field so that potential energy comes out to be q e x okay now your q is your electron so it has a charge minus e so v x will be minus e e into x so see there is an potential energy extra added to this term which has a dependence on x so i have an extra potential energy e e x with no constant so let's add zero so your what your a will be minus e uh, sorry a is your zero no so what was the form previously i just uh, a x square ax plus b okay so your a will be minus e e and your b will be zero so you can directly write that your energy value will be n by half h cut omega what was the formula half h cut omega and 
formula was uh, minus a square by 2k. So this is minus, min, uh, let me put it minus a square, a square by 2k. Okay, so this is the final solution to this problem. Uh, which will turn out to be n plus half h bar omega minus e square e square by 2 times k. So that's the final energy if an electron is placed in a constant electric field and with the original, uh, original potential was a harmonic potential. Okay, so that's the very simple, as simple as that. So this was a sample problem to the previous concept. So uh, this was the basic uh, idea or concept about if you have an, a lower order perturbed harmonic oscillator, then how to solve it. And you know the energy uh, eigenvalues and the mean position, and you can cost, uh, solve different type of questions. So uh, in this type of problems, they can also ask that if I perturb this, then what will happen that whether it will absorb a photon or it will emit a photon. So it depends upon the problem that whether the energy level has been increased or decreased. So subsequently you can answer that question that whether it will increase a photon, absorb a photon or it will emit a photon. Uh, okay, so I think that was good to discuss these types of problems because these are very basic questions that are asked in many commutative exams. So thank you and uh, hopefully we will, I will try to make a video on another short tricks on hydrogen atom in few days. Thank you.